Welcome to the presentation of our TVCG submission with the title Multisensory Proximity and Transition Cues for Improving Target Awareness in Narrow Field of View Augmented Reality Displays. My name is Alexander Marquardt. First, we begin with a brief introduction. Augmented reality applications allow users to enrich their real surroundings with digital content. Due to the limited field of view of augmented reality devices, it can be difficult to become aware of newly emerging information inside or outside the field of view. In this paper we evaluate how multisensory cue combinations can improve the awareness for moving out of view objects, especially for narrow field of view AR displays. We distinguish between proximity and transition cues in either visual, auditory or tactile manner. Proximity cues are intended to enhance spatial awareness of approaching out of view objects. Transition cues inform the user that the object just entered the field of view of the device. Overall, we performed two user studies, which we will discuss in detail on the next slides. The general task for both user studies consisted of being aware of an invisible out-of-view object that approaches the field of view and enters it after some time. In terms of the feedback design, we distinguish between proximity and transition cues. Our method combines the two cues to an overall feedback we called mode. Modes follow a fixed order. The user always receives the proximity cue first, which provides the information on the spatial location of the AR project as long as it is located outside the field of view. As soon as the object touches the border of the field of view, the transition cue will be triggered, which informs the user that the AR object transitions into the field of view. When we talk about modes, we always use the following notation. First, the name of the modality that represents the proximity cue then the name of the modality that represents the transition cue. For example, audio tactile for audio proximity with tactile transition feedback, visual audio for visual proximity with audio transition feedback. Cues can be presented in either visual, auditory or tactile manner. To enable tactile feedback, we created a custom-made headband with two vibration models placed on minus 45 degree and 45 degree from the user's point of view. Beginning with the auditory proximity cues, the virtual object emits a continuous spatial sound as long as the object is located out of view. For visual proximity, we use edge radar method. Here the information is represented by a proxy symbol that is moving analogous to the virtual object across the edge radar border. Regarding transition cues, auditory transition triggers a short sound notification as soon as the virtual object touches the border of the field of view. Visual transition highlights the proxy symbol in red color on the edge radar border. Tactile transition provides a short vibration burst at the corresponding side on the tactile headband. In study 1, we examined user preferences of all cue combinations for overall six different feedback modes, including visual and audio proximity cues and visual, audio and tactile transition cues. Preferences were examined under conditions of reduced and increased visual and auditory background noise. The six modes competed against each other in the course of pairwise comparisons. In each trial, the user was presented two modes in subsequent order. The user had to choose which mode was more preferred with regard to raising awareness for a moving out of view object and its transition into and out the field of view. Results showed that in general, bimodal cues, which combined cues of different modalities, received higher preference scores than unimodal cues, which combined cues of the same modality. Also, modes with tactile transition cues are preferred under noise. For the performance study, we used only the most preferred modes from study 1, namely audio tactile AT, visual tactile VT, and visual audio VA. All these modes showed a high preference across noise conditions. In order to mimic real-world application conditions, we used in this study a divided attention task to measure performance. For task 1, the user was told to use the feedback modes to indicate direction of the incoming object and react in the moment of transition. Task 2 followed a go-no-go -no -go procedure in which participants were required to respond to one specific centrally presented visual stimulus but not, must not react to an alternative. As in study 1, study 2 was performed under conditions of reduced and increased visual and auditory noise. Results showed a faster reaction of visual tactile and audio tactile mode compared to visual audio mode in both noise conditions. 
Also, we found a slowdown in reaction time when the noise level was increased for visual audio and visual tactile mode, but interestingly not for audio tactile mode. To summarize the conclusions of both performed user studies. Overall, preference and performance results showed that users can effectively use proximity and transition cues to improve their awareness for incoming out-of-view targets. Also, subjective feedback provided after each study supported these findings. Preference of bimodal cues suggests that the good discriminability of cues is beneficial for perception. Moreover, when noise is present that blocks one perceptual channel, another sensory channel is still free. High performance in a secondary task for all tested modes, audio tactile, visual tactile and visual audio demonstrates that the usage of proximity and transition cues leaves sufficient cognitive capacities free to perform concurrent tasks. The stronger impairment of visual compared to auditory cues during noise conditions also shows that audio noise is manageable with a good design of auditory cues. We also showed a high usefulness of tactile transition cues in noisy environments. This underlines the noticeable yet unintrusive character of tactile feedback and the intuitive design of this particular tactile cue. Additionally, resources in a tactile modality are usually free, difficult to ignore and can be sensed regardless of the orientation of attention. Further information and the full source code of the project is available on GitHub. Thank you very much for your attention.